SVG is coming to you from the floor of the 2022 NAB show. It's Sunday and we're at the Sony press conference. Brandon Costa from SVG. Thrilled to be with a legend of the game, a new sports broadcasting Hall of Famer, Hugo Gaggioni from Sony. Hugo, pleasure to see you, sir. How are you doing? Thank you for coming. and We really appreciate it. Yeah, thanks so much. Uh, fantastic presentation to open the show from the company here. Uh, t t take us through some of the highlights. Let's start with uh, some of the things that you're working on specifically over here. We're standing in front of the professional monitors wall that you have. A lot of work being done in HDR, 4K, SLG. Uh, what are some of the exciting developments that you guys have here at the show in that regard? This belongs to the what we call the visualization tenet. We have four tenets in the show. One is cloud, okay. and another one is network IP, we have virtual production and visualization and, of course, uh, cinematic processing. Then in, in this area, we are using the new series of PBMX uh, monitors, but now we have activated the capability to do HDR to SDR processing inside the monitor. We have a secret chip inside that had been hidden for quite a while, <laughs> and now we are activating that chip, and it performs an incredible array of functions to produce an SDR signal in a number of ways. It can do satellite metadata to connect to the metadata that the cameras are producing, because this is one of the issues that the industry is facing. You put a lot, and the lot is static. You change the illumination of the of the of the shoot, and the SDR produced is not really uh, in perfect condition. But now we can dynamically follow what the camera is doing using these these monitors. Okay. It's not a, it's no longer a monitor; it's a That's conversion right. device. Sure. Give us a little bit of a preview of some of the things that you guys are working on on the opposite end of the booth in terms of latency and the delivery of video signals. Uh, take us through some of the specifics in there and why that's exciting. That's a very good question. Uh, of course, we, our aim is always to improve the, the picture quality. Of course, HD is commodity today, but we are very aggressive, aggressively going into 4K. And the high quality, low latency, which is required to connect cameras to the cloud or to on-prem, we have been using a JPEG Access, which is a phenomenal compression al algorithm, very transparent. It's an intra-frame compression, which is manageable in terms of a cost of transmission at the, at the level of HD. But when you start moving into 4K, and, and because it's an intra-picture compression, you're looking at data rates which are really unmanageable, 1.2 gigabit, 2 gigabits per second. That, uh, that's going to break the bank. Then we have developed a new uh, compression algorithm based on HEVC, uh, H265, but with a very powerful twist. We is very high quality, it's contribution quality, and it has low latency as well. Then we are showing in, in this area of the booth, uh, the latency is equivalent to the source or one other type of codecs, which are intra-frame picture, but at, at data rates which are unsinkable, I mean 50 megabit, 100 megabit, this, those data rates can be transferred over 5G from the cameras to the cloud. Sure, sure. Now, uh, obviously, I can't grab you without asking about some of the fun sports toys that at least our community is always very excited about. The 5500, the Venice 2 are both making their trade show debuts here today. They're already pretty pervasive in the industry and they're being used. The Venice 2 at the Super Bowl, the 5500 on many of the uh, uh, games at the end of the football season. Uh, how has it been seeing those cameras evolve and really seeing the community embrace them during this time, you know, this big gap in between tra trade shows that we've had? Well, as you know, some of these technologies were arrived to the market late last year and this is the first of opportunity that you can bring it to a show. Right. We have the F5500, which is really a, a stunning piece of uh, camera. Uh, and, and as we, we presented during the press conference, uh, we have achieved the shallow depth of field with cinemat cinematographic cameras in the past, but you had to be trained to do cinematography in the world of broadcasting. Now we have a piece of equipment that fully integrates with the complete camera lineup that people are so familiar with. We, we are a de facto camera a maker. And now this camera fits perfectly as a companion to the 5500, to the 3500, but happen to have shallow depth of field. Right, right. All right, exciting stuff, Hugo. Thank you so much for taking the time. We know this is a very busy week for you guys. Congrats on all the announcements, and uh, we certainly encourage those watching, if you're here at the show, to come by and see the Sony booth. Thank you very much for allowing me to make these comments. Yes. I appreciate it. Of course. All right. For everything going on here at the 2022 NAB Show, you can head on over to our blog, our Sports Tech at NAB Show blog. It's at sportsvideo.org.